picked up a phone, downloaded an app, and I started swiping. And remember, I was out for 10 years, so a lot changed. And so I was swiping left, swiping right, and I had shown up intentional, authentic, transparent, looking for a soul partner, a life companion, a partner in growth, looking for love. People were showing up, like I mentioned, unintentional. They didn't know what they wanted. They didn't even know what their values were. They were ghosting and they were, you know, just texting for weeks and weeks and weeks at a time, wasting time and then disappearing. And I was like, you know what? The world is ready for a conscious approach to dating and I'm going to change it. And Integrity Dating was born. <laughs> it's an inside out approach to love. I like to say it's where personal growth meets the dating world. And it's not about seeking the one, it's actually about becoming the one first and then sharing your energy with another. And so the first integrity dating pillar is self-love. Christina just spoke to you about self-love, it's the foundation. Integrity, authenticity, communication, vulnerability, energy, and surrender. It's such a different dating list than you see with all the dating advice out there versus what to text what to wear, when to call. Very different, isn't it? Because every time you have a question mark, you know those question marks and you call your girlfriend, you're like, hey, what did he mean by this? Or you call your guy friend, hey, you know what, what do you think about this text? <laughs> when you integrity date, you don't have ambiguity or question marks because anytime anything comes up, you ask the person because you have the skills now and you're rooted in a strong foundation of self-love and worthiness and you know how to have conscious conversations, so you just ask. Wouldn't it be so much easier if we just asked and expressed what we felt? Yeah. yeah. But isn't it so fascinating that we're taught to be and do something completely different in the world? You know, dating advice out there focuses on what to text a guy, or when to call a girl, after how many dates should you call a girl, or what to wear to look really sexy and flirt. Right? That's the kind of dating advice that we get. How many of you have ever written a text, deleted it, written it again, showed a friend, and then sent it to a guy or a girl that you liked? Yeah, come on, I've done it, we've all done it. I'm sure we've all done it. It's ridiculous, you know, it really is. Because that's not what dating is about. Dating is not about what you wear, what you text, or when you call. Dating is actually about connection, communication, and the missing piece, alignment. That's what dating is about. People are not options. People are human, and we all want love. We need to start treating each other that way. Your intention may be to find a life partner, or your intention may be to be a, find a friend. Or your intention may to be, may, I don't know, to have a casual relationship. It can be whatever it is, but the most important thing is to be clear in what your intentions are and to express them early on to your dates. Because what happens when somebody who's looking for some fun and casual encounters meets somebody who's looking for the love of her life and wants to get married and have babies, and they date? And they don't talk about that on the first date, and they don't talk about it in the first week, and they don't talk about it in the first month, and they don't talk about it in the first three months, and it comes, down, comes up several months later, somebody gets heartbroken. And a lot of time has been wasted. So how do you have conscious conversations? Two ways. You ask meaningful questions, and you create an invitation instead of interviewing the person. But here's the thing, it's not just about what the questions are, that's the first part. The second part is, how do you ask these questions? Because sometimes it can sound like an interview. In fact, I'm going to pick someone from the audience in the front. A gentleman, I need a volunteer. Safa? So Safa, here's the thing. I'm going to ask you a meaningful question, and I would love for you to respond and actually tell me how you feel after I've told you this question. So Safa. I'm in my 40s, and I really want to get married and have babies, and I don't want to waste my time. So I just want to know up front, like, what's your deal? Like, are you looking to settle down? Are you not? Like, where are you at? Um, maybe take it just a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> so if 
Paul, how did it feel when I asked you that question? Um, it felt like I was, you know, I, I was liking your vibe, but that question was like, wow. Aggressive. It felt aggressive, and yes, suddenly, it felt, it felt suddenly aggressive. he had a block up. Like, whoa, you know, literally you could see him have a block up. And this happens a lot, not just with women, men, but women too. But a lot of us women have asked this question. Come on, you have, right? Or you wanted to ask it, weren't sure how to ask it. All right, so it is a meaningful question for someone who might be in that, that stage of her life. You know, her biological clock may be clicking, this is important, she wants to invest her time with someone who's on the same path, but that's just not the way to ask, because that sounds like an interview. So now let's ask that meaningful question in a different way. And I like to call this way an invitation. And an invitation requires three steps. The first step is an intention. What's your intention? What do you really want to know? The second step is vulnerability. How can I share my heart with this person so I can create a safe space for them to connect? And the third part is respect. How can I ask this question in a way it's respectful and not intrusive? So may I ask that question? Sure. So, Safa, I'm really excited to be talking to you today. And, you know, <laughs> I know that you've done a lot of personal growth, and I so have I. And I wanted to share that I came out of a 10-year relationship, and I took some time to heal. And during that journey, I realized, gosh, I would love a partner in growth. I'm finally at that place where I feel like I can give and receive, and I'd love to share that with someone. And I would love to find a partner to share my life with. And I love children. And I'm finally at that place where I feel like I can give. And I'm just curious, where are you at in your journey? Can, we get, it... can we get married now? <laughs> 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 Gotta put a ring on it. 